The Trillionaire Life of Prince Mateen Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in the lap of luxury, where opulence is not just a lifestyle, but a norm? There are many royals living this kind of life, and one of them is Prince Abdul Mateen of Brunei. He's not just living large, he's changing what it means to be super extravagant. From calling the world's largest palace, his residence to keeping exotic pets as companions, his existence epitomizes lavishness redefined. Prince Abdul Mateen is the fourth son and tenth child of Sultan Hassan al Bolkia, the King of Brunei. He went to schools in Brunei like St. Andrew's School, Paduka Seri Begawan Sultan Science College, and Jaradong International School. In 2014, he got a bachelor's degree in international politics from King's College London. Two years later, he got a master's degree in international studies and diplomacy from the University of London. As the Sultan's son, Prince Mateen helps his father with royal duties. He's also a serving officer in the Royal Brunei Air Force. Prince Mateen's life took a thrilling turn around 2010. First, he went to a special military school called the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. He did so well there that by 2017, he became a captain in the military. Then he learned how to fly helicopters at RAF Cranwell and got a badge to prove it in 2018. Besides being in the military, Prince Mateen is also getting into diplomacy. He's meeting important leaders from all over the world, like Boris Johnson from the UK and President Joe Biden from the US. And guess what? He's not just into serious stuff. He started his own boxing gym called Jab Boxing Gym. Now, let's talk about his lavish lifestyle. His father, Sultan Hassan al Bolkia, is worth around $30 billion, can you imagine? The royal family has a crazy collection of cars, like 7,000 of them. Prince Abdul Maten loves fast and furious cars, from sleek sports cars to powerful supercars. His collection shows how much he adores cars. Let's talk about his favorite, the Ferrari 488 GTB. It costs $250,000 and has a V8 engine with 660 horsepower, reaching speeds over 200 miles per hour. It's sleek and cool, making people notice it wherever it goes, but that's not all he has. He also owns the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, which is elegant and powerful. It has a V12 engine with 730 horsepower, going from 0 to 60 mlpi in just 3.1 seconds. Apart from Ferraris, he has other amazing cars like the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It's super fast with a V12 engine and can go up to 217 mlpi. It looks fierce and futuristic, making heads turn. But Prince Abdul Matin doesn't only like fast cars, he also enjoys classic ones like the Rolls-Royce Phantom. It's luxurious and smooth with a handmade interior. His Phantom is customized just for him, making it special. He also loves off-road adventures and has tough SUVs like the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. It can handle any terrain while still being comfy and luxurious. Prince Abdul Mateen's car collection shows his big personality and love for luxury. Each car is a symbol of his wealth and status, chosen and customized just for him. From the fast Ferraris to the classic Rolls-Royce, his collection is truly impressive. Now, let's talk about another part of his lifestyle, his collection of classic watches. This prince loves watches, and his collection is outstanding. One of his favorite watches is the Rolex Daytona. It's famous for being precise and elegant, and lots of people who love watches really like it. The Daytona has a stopwatch and a special scale for measuring speed, which makes it popular with people who love racing. The Prince's Daytona is special because it has his initials on it, making it one of a kind. But that's just one watch in his collection. He has watches from some of the best watchmakers in the world. One special watch is the Patek Philippe Nautilus. It's both sporty and elegant, with a unique shape and a bracelet that's part of the design. The Prince's Nautilus is extra special because it has diamonds on it, making it like a piece of art. Another watch he has is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. It's known for its bold and modern design, with a unique shape and a bracelet that's part of the design. The Prince's Royal Oak is made of rose gold and has a special see-through dial so you can see how it works inside. But the Prince doesn't just like famous brands. He also loves vintage and limited edition watches that are really unique. One example is the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch. It's famous for being the first watch worn on the moon. The Prince's moonwatch is from the 1960s, 
and it's special because of its classic design and historical importance. Besides these luxurious watches, the Prince's collection also has watches from other famous brands like Jaeger Le Coultre, Vacheron Constantin, and Breguet. Each watch he owns shows his good taste and love for well-made things. He doesn't just care about how they look, he also cares about the stories and history behind each watch. Learning about the craftsmanship and history of these watches makes his collection even more special to him. Prince Mateen also has a pet white tiger, earning him the nickname Father of Tigers. If you thought things couldn't get any cooler, think again. Imagine Abdul Mateen living in a palace, just like the British royals. Well, that's exactly right. In Brunei, there's a palace called the Astana Nurul Iman Palace, and Prince Mateen proudly calls it home. It's the biggest private residence in the world. Can you believe it has 1,788 rooms and 257 bathrooms? And it cost a mind-blowing 1.3 billion. This palace is massive, covering over 2.2 million square feet. Inside, it's like a treasure trove with lots of gold and diamond decorations. Prince Matane even has five huge swimming pools to splash around in. Plus, there's a gigantic hall where 5,000 people can have dinner, a mosque that can fit 50,000 people, and even a stable with air conditioning for 200 polo horses. Everywhere you look in this palace screams luxury. But Prince Mateen isn't just about living the high life. He's got a heart of gold, too. One time, he gave a big donation to the Children's Cancer Foundation and Pat Essen. And in 2023, there was a charity auction to help people with special needs. Prince Matain and his family donated some for the auction, like a polo cap signed by the Sultan himself. Prince also loves doing lots of exciting things as a hobby. He's into sports, especially football. He admires David Beckham and supports Manchester United. He's not just a fan, though. He's really good at playing football, too. He's into other sports like boxing, golf, martial arts, and even bungee jumping. He's also thinking about trying Muay Thai. His list of fun activities is like a list of all the coolest stuff you can do. He loves snorkeling, skydiving, golfing, rowing, playing badminton, and even horseback riding. He's super passionate about polo and has also represented Brunei internationally. Besides sports, Prince Mateen travels to different places and shares his adventures on Instagram. He goes on fancy cruises, visits tropical islands, and rides horses on beautiful beaches and through deserts. He's good at mixing luxury with his hobbies. Recently, Prince Mateen got married to Anisha Rosna in a really grand wedding. It lasted for 10 days. They had it at the royal throne hall of Astana Nurul Iman. Prince Mateen arrived in a Rolls Royce wearing a black and gold outfit. Anisha looked stunning in a gorgeous gown and wore a tiara worth $12 million loaned from Princess AA. Anisha's outfits were also amazing, blending tradition with luxury from famous designers. Together, Prince Mateen and Anisha showed off their lavish lifestyle, proving they really enjoy the finer things in life. In the setting of Prince Abdul Martim's big wedding, a famous photographer named German Lin captured the modern-day princess vibe. Known for working with celebs like Kim Kardashian, Kate Moss, and Angelina Jolie, Lin added extra glamour to the event, ensuring that the wedding moments were beautifully preserved. Now, talking about Prince Mateen's fashion sense, it's quite impressive. He loves wearing designer clothes and accessories, spending a lot to make sure his wardrobe looks elegant and sophisticated. His tailored suits, made to fit him perfectly, show his dedication to looking sharp, whether it's a formal tuxedo or a stylish three-piece suit. But it's not just formal wear. Prince Matin effortlessly blends comfort and style in his casual outfits. Whether it's jeans and a white shirt or a trendy tracksuit, he knows how to look good while being at ease. His weakness for designer shoes and accessories, from leather loafers to sneakers, shows his love for footwear. He also pays attention to belts, sunglasses, and hats, combining them skillfully to make his outfits stand out. Prince Abdul Matin truly lives a luxurious life, making a statement with every fashion choice. That's all for today. Let us know in the comment section if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming luxurious video.